chapter 2, lesson 4 is addition with regrouping in the tens and ones. So now it becomes a little bit more challenging because there are now two place values where we are regrouping. So again, the lesson should be that the kids should know the groupings. So this is 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5, and five. Okay, we also need the groupings of ten, uh, hundreds. So that means 10 and 90, 20 and 80, 30 and 70, 40 and 60, 50 and 50. Okay, so on page 40, we need to remember to make a hundred, we need to take three from here. So we split that. And therefore, this is 100 plus four makes it 104. Here, we have the option of just taking one from here to make this 100. So this is 108 plus one, making that 100, which means that's 108 plus 100 makes it 208. So clearly, this is mental addition because we didn't have to rewrite vertically. It's just a single place value addition. Okay, this, on the other hand, is computational addition. Therefore, we need to write it vertically, the bigger number on top. 357 plus 246. So the regrouping will be 7 plus 6. That means I need 3 to make 10. I have an extra 3, which makes it 13. Okay, so this is 5 and 4. Together makes 9 plus 1 makes it 10. So that means five, 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So again, we want to make use of the pairings. Okay, so in the next problem, this is 564 plus 358. Okay, this is a bit more challenging. So we take the 8 and we add the 4. We need 2 to get to 10, so we have an extra 2, which makes it 12. Then we take the 6, which needs a 4. We need, we need the 4, so we have an extra 1, which makes it 11, plus 1 makes it 12. And finally, we have 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So, which makes 564 plus 358 to be 922. Again, please remind your kids that mental math just means that they have to do horizontal and it's a single place value addition. They need to group so that it becomes either tens or hundreds. And for computational math, we want it vertically written. Again, we start with a bigger number on top, and each place value additions, what we want to do is we start with a bigger number on each place value and add the smaller number. Easier for the brain cells so that the kids won't be so stressed. That concludes chapter two, lesson four which also concludes chapter two. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.